Audio Jungle. Hey guys, so today I got a video for you on a computer rack, on like what it is and anyways let me tell you what my problem was is I was actually renting a VPS and it was costing me a lot of money and I'm like running some websites and the more websites that I was running the more like computer power is taking and the more money it was actually costing me to rent my VPS so what I decided to do was to run my own servers from home and run my own websites from home which is what I'm gonna go through the steps with you guys on showing you how to run your own servers and your own websites from your house and uh, when I started doing this, uh, I didn't find many videos that explained how to do this and what even a, a server or what even a computer rack consists of or how how it worked and, and you know people had videos out there but they didn't really explain uh, what I needed to know anyways. I, I found that they, they weren't, uh, they, were, they were really technical and uh, I didn't understand some of it and so I did a lot of, it took me a bit a bit of research to figure out everything about you know a computer rack and how to set it up properly and dealing with uh, your internet company and all these things we're gonna go through to make sure that we can get your websites running from your house and uh, I'll explain a few things but the first thing that I'd like to start with <coughs> uh, where I I had problems with in the first place was understanding <coughs> what a computer rack is and uh, w what it involves and people were talking about load balancers and and they're talking about uh, routers and and all that kind of stuff and I, I just didn't really understand so what I'm gonna do is I, I'm gonna take you down through my computer rack now and uh, I'm gonna show you uh, what the parts are and what they do and uh, and why you need them and uh, I actually have some of them open and we'll show you the insides of them and uh, yeah we'll, we'll go through all that stuff and uh, this is going to be a series so there's going to be uh, other videos as well that will go through the software and how to set up the software to get your own website running from your house okay so now we're in, in my data center in my laundry room uh, so here's my, my uh, computer here Here's the my server rack. There it is. Here's my server rack. So actually, I got some lights in it, so they change color here. I'm gonna actually stay, stop that. Okay, so here's my server rack. So this is what it looks like. My house server rack. It's actually fairly short, and if actually if I was to buy a different one, I would definitely recommend buying a, a, a deeper one, Ooh. a deeper one, one that's a, a, a bit bigger because most of the casings that you get are just don't fit in a short little one like this. Uh, actually, the only casings that fit in this one are 15 uh, inches or or less, so. And they don't sell a lot uh, that are 15 inches or less that actually fit with bigger older motherboards. <clears throat> so anyways, if you're going to buy a rack, get a little bit deeper one than, than this one anyways. I can't remember how deep this one was. Uh, I'll put it in, in the link here. But uh, So that's what it looks like. Uh, actually, this is one from... Um, sis system rack <sighs> okay so let's dive in and see what's inside the rack here so inside my rack I have right here this is actually our firewall and this is an XTM 5 series and uh, what's on this red box is PFSense so what PFSense is is a, a, a router uh, OS so it's like an, a, an operating system for, for a router 
So what this is, is actually the router for the house. So the internet actually comes in <coughs> from right here, from our modem, which is up there. My modem is up there. So the internet comes in from there and goes into this red box before anything. And then it comes out of this red box and it goes to our switch, which is right here, this blue thing. So <coughs> this, this firebox, this firewall, which is a watch WatchGuard firebox by uh, by WatchGuard, yeah, XDM5 series. Uh, this thing costs like 150 bucks, so it's real cheap, and uh, it does a lot of things for you. Uh, you you need you, you pretty much should have a separate firewall if you're gonna run your own web service from home. Uh, so that's what this does. Uh, it does a lot of things like. Uh, protect you from bad people <laughs> but anyways uh, if you you should research on PF Sans and uh, you don't need to have a, a box like this with a bunch of ports on it as you can tell I'm only using two ports on here so if you wanted to make your own computer box uh, for PF Sans uh, a lot of people do so it's what what all these are, all these things that you see here, they're all actually different separate mini computers. Except for for this one really. That's that's my power supply. So all these boxes are just different computers that are running different software or a different operating system. Uh, and like this one, the, uh, so it cleans the power and it gives you really good power to your your stuff so that it lasts longer it cleans like the waves and stuff I'm not exactly sure but uh, it also has a battery in it so <coughs> uh, right now it's telling you that estimate runtime would be 58 minutes if the the power was to go off right now uh, my computer server would run for another hour uh, before it, before the battery dies so it's my backup so that's that's really what you, what you need to have a, a little web server at home, you kind of need a battery power supply just in case, like the power like shuts off, and uh, it's really good for your computers too to have a a, a power supply like that cleans the power, and then uh, you should have a, a separate firewall, and uh, if you're gonna have uh, lots of cables, well you're gonna need a switch. And then one box there is my one server. And then the other server, well, let's go check it out. All right, so that's what the inside of our server looks like. So like you, like I was telling you, the, the server is just, just a regular computer with uh, just the regular computer parts in it. Uh, you got a motherboard, you got a CPU, I got a video card because this motherboard and CPU didn't have an integrated video card in it. <clears throat> I have an extra network card because of what I was telling you. I have this set up into a, a replication system which I will tell you about in just a second. So it's got RAM, <coughs> power supply, hard drives. I got two hard drives in here and a third hard drive in here, okay? Um, so, your setup could be very simple. You can set up the old computer at home to run your websites, and you can be fine with that. But uh, I have uh, a dozen websites which I'm running, and I want them to be, uh, you know, reliable. So, uh, my problem was that uh, one of the computers kept sometimes failing and overheating, and it would reboot and stuff like that. And, anyways, when I started making running my own stuff from home, what I did was I installed Ubuntu onto on a standalone computer, which sat in my uh, which sat in my laundry room for a long time, and it was just a computer on top of uh, on top of my uh, old washer in there. And uh, then I decided that I'd, I'd, I'd try to get rid of the computer on the washer and I'd put it into a rack. And uh, that's when I I end up doing all this crazy stuff. So 
now what I have today and anyways and you don't have to do this but I have two computers that are in replication that copy each other all the time so that if one goes down the other one takes over <clears throat> and I find that that way works very well and uh, there's other ways of doing it uh, but uh, this this method works works well and uh, it's easy to do uh, you don't need a network of different machines you can have just two machines copying each other and if one stops working the other one takes over and uh, that's all there is to it so I will tell you all about that I think I think I will actually make a different video about how I set all that up but uh, <clears throat> this is the inside of server 2 and uh, we need two network cards for our replication system to work 